So today I actually just got this Ferrari 458 Italia or 458 Challenge um, body shell from Tamiya. And um, I'm actually going to be doing a painting, a like sand painting for RC cars. Once again, I haven't actually done this since I actually painted my, my Traxxas Rustler's body. So, yeah, so I'm going to give this a shot and um, this is going to be a multi-part video. So this is going to, in this part right here, I'm just going to do all the cutting and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to show you what I'm doing on the, on the table because my table is pretty small. I got all my gaming equipment here. So um, the floor is pretty much um, the only source of area that I can actually have enough room for. And I can actually put the camera up well positioned so I'm gonna start doing that and uh, and we'll we'll go from there so I'm about to start cutting this um, for our body um, so I'm gonna give these tools these are the first time I'm actually gonna be using these tools um, this right here is a body reaver and this is actually supposed to punch a hole for your body pose for the for your RC car. And this one over here is a straight cutter. So it works like regular scissors. And this is actually this this one over here is also a curved cutter. So it, it works the same thing as a straight cut, but um, this one actually is curved so you can actually cut in, in angles. So well in curves actually. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing now is to actually use um, using scissors uh, using the scissors I got uh, and cut off the bottom part right here and let's see here um yeah I just fall I'm gonna be following along these lines that I'm seeing here and yeah and um, I'm not gonna go through I'm not going to show you guys what I'm doing but because I don't want you guys to see me mess up. Okay, I am back. Um, I didn't do a very careful job at it, but I mean, I, I actually, um, let's see here. Hmm. Um, but I did, go into the little lines that tells me to to cut it um, just all right so it's it's not a big deal I mean when the paint gets on when I spray the paint it's not gonna be as prominent so yeah so that's what I got so far I cut um, the bottom part out and uh, so far it's it's all right not the best but I wasn't expecting it to be the, per the most perfect one, but uh, actually a lot better than I thought it would be. So um, I'm gonna do some a little bit more trimming because there's some parts that I need to actually fix. But aside from that, it's it's actually not so bad. So this is what the overall look looks like on the Fortec. Still not perfect right now, but. Uh, as you can see, some of the wheels actually popping out. So I'm actually going to try to um, fix that, but um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And try to use the, this piece right here to punch some holes in, and yeah. Giving this a little bit of time. This is what I got so far. I didn't do a very careful job here because I was actually trying to experiment between the Ford GT's uh, uh, body post to the one that came in stock. Um, I didn't do a very careful job to it, but uh, like I said, this is just like a first attempt of me making a new body um, after a long hiatus. I'm not working on one. So, I mean, this thing's all right for what it is, so I'm probably just gonna go cut the paint tomorrow and start painting it tomorrow and stuff like that. So, yeah. 
I'll see you guys then. All right, so now we're here on day two for working on uh, Ferrari 458 Italia body from Tamiya. Uh, so now I already got the body cut up. Now it's time to uh, like rinse it in and soak it up with some soap. The reason why I'm actually soaking up with some water and putting some soap in it, uh, or some detergent if you want to say, is because I'm trying to remove some of the oils out before I start painting. So it doesn't like screw up the paint when I'm starting to do the, all the painting for the car. further ado, I'm gonna go wash this up and then I'll see you in the next part. All right, before I start doing anything by, by anything to paint this car up, I just wanted to little, give you guys a little bit of a quick update of what, what I've done so far compared to what I did last night. Um, when I put the body on with these tires on, uh, these are the wide tires for the Fortec 2.0. These things were deemed too wide for the, for the back end and in order for me to fix that up, I had to put a lot of negative camber in it and kind of make the car look ugly. So I decided to put the front, the, the original fronts, into the rear and then I just installed these $10 Amazon uh, wheels and tires on. And yes, you can actually get these rims and tires at Amazon for only like $10 for all four. All you need to do is just glue them up and then you're good to go. All right, I don't think I've got anything else to do. Now I hope. Hopefully I'm ready to do this. I'm gonna put all the, the paint and mask on and I'll start uh, doing the painting. Okay. Alright, so I should be not I should not be doing this with my hands. So because I screwed this up, so maybe I'll try. Yeah, I've actually haven't done this in a while folks, so sorry about that. Been a while. Should have used some of those uh, toothpicks. Got some air bubbles. The thing is, you're not supposed to have some air bubbles. So I'm going to I'm going to keep the bottom of this piece right here intact. But, I mean, certainly better than nothing. All right, so that's basically what the idea is. I'm gonna do the rest off camera. Okay, so now I'm about to start painting this car, but a little bit of a quick little update. I actually, um, all the painting mask here, these will be the head headlights right here. And these are all the windows, the windshield. And there's the back window where the engine will be at. If you all you Ferrari 458, uh, all you Ferrari enthusiasts out there, the 458 Italia is equipped with a V8. So that produces about 400 to 500 horsepower, depending on which model you get. 458 Challenge has a lot more horsepower than the traditional 458 Italia. But I'm gonna make this car a little bit more subtle, not, not really subtle, but I'm still gonna make it look like a race car, but I'm not gonna be putting a lot of the 458 Challenge uh, decals on. I'll try to make some of my own because I'm trying to make a, a Forza Motorsport uh, livery on this kind of car. So, uh, enough of me blabbing, I'll start painting, and uh, I'll be using a Tamiya uh, red color. And a little bit of some information, guys. If this is just, if you're gonna be painting an RC car body, if it's gonna be a single color, you're all good to go. This is mainly good to go, but if you're gonna be putting other colors, multiple colors in, usually the darks go first. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's been a while since I've done that, done this, but I heard that dark colors go first. Anyways guys, enough of me blabbing, time to go to work. 
Alright, so. Alright, guys, so we're now gonna start. I already got all the paint ready to go. And uh, the thing is, now I have to be at least keep about 30, so that's about a foot. 30 centimeters is like a foot, right? About a foot. Um, about, yeah. So just keep a fair distance away. Also, wear some eye protection. And yeah. So, actually, this is a safety hammer still. I'm not wearing gloves. So, a good thing to caught that. So basically, what you want to do is to actually get about a foot of distance and paint, spray, spray a couple of paint. Just like that, and then wait for a few minutes, and then do another coat. So that's the basic, the basic idea. Let me go grab a pair of gloves, and then we'll go from there. Okay. All right. So now I got the gloves. So also, as you can see, I'm wearing a I'm wearing a painter's mask, and also I have protection as well. So try to keep at least a foot foot away of distance and spray. Uh, smells, huh? Yeah. Smells like nail polish. Someone's on my hand. Oh, since I got the paint here, so this is my, so some paint on my on my thumb. It's no big deal if I touch if I touch the body right here, because the I've done this before on my tracks of slash on my wrestler that the outside of the body shell is actually just clear coat. So when I peel it, when I peel it, it will not show the paint at all. So, so nothing to worry about. Place my distance. If I didn't pull the paint here and I'm not done with it, it's okay. I can still buy some more paint for it. Let this first coat dry up, and then um, I'll do the rest um, in a bit. And yeah. All right. Um, I'm actually going to do the second coating off camera. But the basic idea is, with the second coating, is just basically the same thing what you do with your first coating. Is just spray, 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 and spray like that. And then you get a shinier, nice looking color to your car. So, and like I said before, that the that the body actually has those clear clear coating on the on the outsides to prevent from overspray. And yeah, so I'm gonna start doing my second coat, and then I'll see you guys in the next part. Okay, so I got my second coat done. I mean, I did not do a very careful job doing it. But it's no big deal. I mean, I did, looks. I mean, at least I did not do, overdo it with spraying. I still got enough more color left on my on my spray paint. So um, I'm gonna let this thing dry, and then I'll probably do my final coating.
we have some overcrowded down by me. Not too bad. Now I'm gonna do the waiting game again and then wait for it to dry. Alright, I got my final coat finished. Um, like I said before, I did not do a very careful job. Um, as you can see right there, there's a little bit of a weak spot right there. But I mean, this is honestly, this is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. This is actually a lot better than I did, did my previous paint jobs on, especially on my tracks to Slash, which had like a lot of paint blobs. So this one is actually three times as better than what I used to do with my tracks to Slash, which now has the destroyed body. But um, yeah. So like I said, I'm gonna wait for this to dry once again. And if you guys are wondering if I'm gonna be putting all those white stuff, um, on the on the vehicle, I would. I'm um, not really. I'm not gonna do that. I think that it looks okay for what what it is right now. But I mean, you can you can still put that white stuff on it. I don't know what's called, but I know it's those white stuff when you get when you know when you get your new RC car and that, when you take the body off, you get that white stuff underneath the underneath the body. That's what I'm talking about. But in this case, I don't really think it needs it, as the car is actually fine. I'm not really gonna be driving the fry body unless if I'm going to my local RC track. So yeah. I'll put all the stickers on. Well not really stickers but um, I'll put all the decals in and then we'll go from there. Okay, looks like the paint is now officially dry. Like I said, this one's a little bit of a mess you can move right there. I'm not too worried about that. I did kind of accidentally bleed some through into the windshield, but I think that the sticker sheet has like has coverings on the top so I can actually fix that up. So you won't you won't see it. But aside from that, I think this thing is all all well done. Um, so before I take these uh, these paint mask out. I'm going. I'm going to be smoothing out these fender arches with my with my um, sandpaper, and yeah, that's what I'll be doing. So um, I'm going to show you what's up with that fender right the front. That fender right here. You want to see it? Look how look how rough that is. It's hard for me to portray it on camera, but that's the best I could do. Let me try lowering it down real quick. This way. See right there. It's kind of like I said, it's still kind of hard to see, but there's some little bit of a ridges there that I need to smooth out. So I'm actually gonna work on that. Try not to scrape the paint out of here, otherwise I'll be making another coat. So here it is right now. Let's see if I can focus it. See, I mean, that's still not the best but i i can tell this one's a lot more smoother than it was so it shouldn't be a big deal for me to actually get the step fix step fix they're actually working on a honda civic right now that's why you heard the car trying to start so yeah um so at least it's smoother than i thought it would be it's actually a lot better than i thought it would actually turn out so um I'll, I'll, I'll send I'll send in the other side and I'll go from there. All right, guys, there we go. I'll put this on the car. This 
of what it looks like on the car with the clear coat with the clear coat still on. And this is what it looks like after. Look how shiny that is. I am back home. I'm back home right now and um, I'm gonna do the rest of the RC car paint and build of the Ferrari 45 Italia from Tamiya. I'm doing the side mirrors right now and according to what the instructions are telling me, yeah, I have to put double sided tape inside, which I already did already, and put the protective um, mirror surface and then I have to use that sticker that's on that sticker sheet or I could put the mirror part on there. So, do mirror mirror two. This is the driver's side mirror. So it looks like that. And um, stick it in. All right. Those are all, both the passenger and driver mirrors. Now I'm gonna go cut out the sticker sheet so I can actually put them in onto the car. Um, like I said before, I, I normally don't do this kind of stuff on the floor. Uh, so I have a mess on my on my on my desk. So I need to do the best next best thing is to actually do it this way. At least it's better than nothing. For, at least. First time in in months that I've actually used uh, an exacto knife. It's not gonna be perfect. <laughs> best but totally not the worst I think it's all right so I'm gonna try taking it out if possible oh, there we go application but I don't poke myself try doing this Like I said, this is the first time I, I've ever done this. My Ford GT does not even have side mirrors at all. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing. This side off camera. I'll do this off camera actually, guys. Alright. Got one mirror out. It looks like this thing can actually be peeled away easily. I don't know. side. There's the driver's side. Mm. There we go. Now that'll 
was a lot better. <laughs> okay. I guess we're good. Now, I'm gonna put this onto the car. This one is the driver's side. Oh, there we go. Now it's the side mirrors on. All right, that's the driver's side mirror onto the car. Now I'm gonna try to do the same thing with the passenger side. I really like about these body tools. This one's a body reamer, so you can actually punch holes into the onto the Lexan body and create your holes there. So you can actually put like side mirrors and stuff like like that onto the car. And there we go. There's the passenger side mirror. side mirrors now and on the other side it has holes in there so I can actually put a clip on so instead of using this Tamiya ones I'm actually going to be using where'd it go oh, there it is I'm actually going to be using body clips from from the tracks. The same little pieces that you get from the little mini tracks as cars. Not the mini slash or the mini e but I'm talking about the like the La tracks the vehicles. And they're small enough there so they can fit perfectly onto the side. This will actually prevent it from falling off basically. Okay, you guys can see that. There you go. There's a hole in there, so I just put on this pin, if, if it will go in, sometimes it's a little stubborn. Try putting the pin back on. Let's see if it will fit. To find it. There we go. Oops. Yeah, this is hard for me to do with the camera in front of me. But uh, it's not going. I'm not going to give up. And there we go. Now it's on. Yay! Now it's official. The 458. To me, a body shell has side mirrors. All right. Um, over here, I'm actually going to. Pl I'm planning to put some headlights on this car, so I am going to be putting headlights on this, into this car, and uh, I'll be using these. So they have holes in there, so you can actually install headlights and tail lights and stuff. So, I need to use that stuff, the upside tape, to take the, to put the body on. 
Um, not body arm, but the headlights off the body. So you can actually have the option of having um, working using these headlight and taillight cases. So you can have headlight, have the car with headlights or without. But for now, I'm actually just gonna use just without the headlights, um, without the working headlights, because I don't really have the money to actually invest on a headlight kit. So just for now, I'll just use whatever I got here on the sticker sheet. That's a headlight sticker actually. Um, this is just for temporary purposes only. Um, I'll be using the actual headlight assembly um, case whenever I get myself a headlight headlight uh, kit, LED light kit. For now, this will do. Okay, I got the headlights on and the tail lights on. I can see that the taillights are actually semi-clear. So even if I put the uh, taillight housing on and have the LED lights on, it will still shine, which I think is pretty cool. All right, um, I'm going to do all, all the rest off camera, and then I'll come back to you guys. There we guys have it. That's the finished product. Now there's only a few things that I actually got a little bit frustrated on working. And it's mainly the front area right here. Um, didn't really do a very, very careful job, but I mean, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, since this is just the first attempt, but not the best, but totally not the worst for me. And, um, Here's the side profile of it. Looks very nice. I'm actually going to be ordering some Fortec fronts so I can match the fronts because this one is literally the tracks. This is um, the Fortex, the Fortex front wheels because the rear wheels, the original rear wheels will not clear the rear fenders since they were too wide. Here's the back. I punched some holes there so I can actually add a wing. And uh, there's the other side. So yeah, that's the Traxxas Fortec 2.0 with a Tamiya, a Tamiya Ferrari 458 Italia body. And uh, I, wore, I started putting these stickers, these vinyls since, I don't know, like 12, around 11 o'clock. And now it's almost half past uh, two o'clock in the morning. So I work hard on this thing. And even though I kind of screwed up a little bit there, I'm still proud of it. And I, I'm really glad that I actually bought this because I've always wanted to have a Ferrari body on, on an RC car. And I'm glad that my local RC hobby store had this in stock. They also have one, they also have a La Ferrari model as well. I'll think about getting that one too, but for now, I'm just happy for what I got I made so far. And these are the like I said, these are just the stickers. Um once I do get an LED he headlight set, I'll use these and replace that. But for now, I think I did a really good job.